Hi, I'm John Price, and this is a series of video clips talking about basic bidding in Bridge using the ACOL bidding system. Let's look at a bridge hand. Okay, well this is a hand I've never seen before, so let's have a closer look at it. It's got some high cards. When I mean high cards, I mean aces, kings, queens and jacks. And what I'm going to do to judge how good this hand is, is I'll give one point for a jack, two points for a queen, three points for a king, and four points for an ace. So let's add up these high card points. One in spades, another three in hearts, that's four, one in diamonds, that's five, and that's it. Now in each suit there's an ace, a king, a queen, and a jack. Well that's ten points. So because there's four suits, there are 40 points in all of the cards, and this hand has just got five of them. So it's a below average sort of hand. Your partner, who is West, has opened one no trump, and North, the opponent, has passed. What do you do? Well, I'm assuming that you and your partner are playing the ACOL bidding system. And in that system, one no trump by your partner has a very specific meaning. It means that that hand that he's got has got between 12 and 14 points. Also, it hasn't got any singletons. That means he hasn't got a suit where there's only one in that suit. And he's only got, at the most, one doubleton. That means a suit with just two in it. And when he says one no trump, he's saying, partner, this is my cards. I'm not going to bid again unless you force me to. The opponents north have passed. What do you do? Well, your partner's got, at the most, 14 points, and you've got 5 points. That only adds up to 19 points. You've got less than half of the points. So your reply will be a very simple pass. You're just going to leave it at one no trumps and just see what the uh, opponent south does that's all you're going to do. Let's look at another hand. First, let's count how many high card points we've got. In spades, we've got a queen, that's two points. In hearts, a jack, that's another one. Three points. Diamonds, four points. And clubs, another four, that's eight points. Your partner, who's playing west, has opened one no trump and north has passed. What are you going to do? Well, eight points again is just a little bit below the average of about ten points. But your partner has opened one no trump. That means he's got an above average of 12 to 14 points, no higher than 14, no less than 12. And also, he hasn't got any singletons, that's one in a suit, and at most, one doubleton. What are you going to bid? Well, with your eight points and his, at most, 14, and it might only be 12, at the most, you've got 22 points, and you may only have 12 plus 8, that is 20 points. So what you will do is a simple pass. But what about this situation? Your partner hasn't opened one no trump, 
your partner has opened to no trouble. Now in Akol, that's got a different meaning. It means this time I've got a much stronger hand partner. I've got between 20 and 22 points. But I've still got the same shape of hand. I haven't got any singletons. But at most, I've just got one doubleton. Two no trumps from your partner. A pass from north. What are you going to bid now? Well, your partner's got at least 20 points. And you have got 8 points. That's 28 points in total. Now, you need to have quite a lot of points to get the three no trumps for it. You need to have 25 points or more to have a good go at getting three no trumps. But you've got that. Your partner's got at least 20. You've got eight. That's 28 points at least. So what you would do is not pass this time. But you would go three no trumps. Okay, let's look at one last hand. First, let's count the high card points. In spades, four and two, that's six points. None in hearts, another six points. In diamonds, that's 12. And the jack of clubs, that's one more. 13 points. This is a hand where you could open one no trump. You've got between 12 and 14 points. You haven't got any singletons. And you've just got one doubleton. So if you were opening you could open the one no trump bid. It's a great bid. It's saying, partner, this is what I've got. This is how many points. This is the shape of my hand. And I'm not going to bid again. You've got the responsibility, all the responsibility of deciding what we should do. But I'm sorry, that isn't the situation. What's happened is, your partner has opened and your partner has said one no trump. North has passed. What should you do? Well, your partner says I've got 12 to 14 points. So he's got a minimum of 12 points. And you've got 13 points. So between you, you've got at least 25 points and maybe even 27. Now to get a score of three no trumps, that's nine tricks with no trumps as your um, target, then you need 25 points or more to make it a reasonable chance. And you definitely got that. So you're the one with the responsibility. Your partner says one no trump, you have to choose partner. And you're the one to make the, the, the choice now. And your correct bid will be not two diamonds, not two no trumps, but three no trumps. You go straight there. One no trump from your partner, north passes. And because you've got so many points between you, you must go Three no trumps. But one last situation I want to, to ask you about. This time, your partner has not opened one no trump. Your partner has opened two no trumps. North has passed, not surprisingly. And you have 13 points. Think about it. Your partner has got at least... 20 points and you have got 13 points so between you you have at least 33 points now to get 
a bid of three no trumps, you need to have 25 points or more to have a reasonable chance of getting that contract. But there's another level above that. To get a contract of six no trumps, you need to have 33 or more points. And you have definitely got that. So wait for it. Your partner opens two no trumps. Your passes. You have to bid six no trumps. You have to get 12 tricks out of the 13. But the good side is you don't have to try that. It will be your partner who is the declarer. Thank you for listening.